YouTube, it's your boy DT, man. We back in the garage, man. It's been a long time. But yeah, we ain't here getting this top off, man. I just got a driver's side trim off. I ain't used nothing but a flathead screwdriver. Just pried it up. Broke some of the clips, but I ain't tripping about that. Half of them was, you know, snapping off anyway. And whatever. Get another set online. And they ain't cheap. It's like $90 for the kit, but whatever. They probably got to be replaced anyway. But yeah, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing no major rust, man. Very surprised about that. Very surprised. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut you back on once I start working on the other side. There goes a the trim piece. But anyways, we're going to get passenger side trim off. Should just pull backwards like the other side did. Like I said, if I break the clips, I don't really care. Most of them are brittle and got to be replaced. In. So, yeah, man. It's been a long time since uh, I've been back in the garage, man. I had a lot of shit going on. I had to rebuild the motor in my wife's car. That took like two months. But yeah, we back on the cutting now. The vinyl really wasn't that bad. It had a slit in it on the driver's side. And other than it just being dirty, it really didn't have to be replaced, but I just wanted to see what was underneath of it because a lot of times they rust out. So. These clips are held in by uh, <clears throat> rivets. So, yeah, I don't know if you can buy the new ones and just snap them on over the top of the, the old rivets or if you have to re-rivet re -rivet the clips on. I don't know. There's a uh, channel on YouTube, G Body, G Body Garage, I think, G Body Classic Garage, something like that. But he's got a whole informational video on the different tops, hard tops, soft tops, you know, the trim pieces that you need and conversions. So you can check that out too. My my video is just basically the demolition of a top. <clears throat> oh yeah, definitely glued on there. But I'm surprised, man. It ain't it ain't no rust. That is crazy. Man. Yeah, buddy. Probably should. Well, I guess it don't really matter. Even if I was the dent it with the screwdriver trying to pry it up, you wanna see it anyway, because I'm putting another top back on it. Ah. The 
there seems to be another another plastic piece underneath this. The vinyl comes down and it tucks underneath. finished tearing all the vinyl top off and uh to be honest with you man it's looking real good underneath here i don't see any rust holes not even on the inside of the trim piece for the uh quarter windows usually you get like a, a rust spot right there in that corner down along the bottoms nothing this right here i think that's just surface rust but the back the size is looking good a little surface rust right there but yeah man i'm pretty happy man shit i might just fuck around and leave the top off we'll see yeah 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 Ooh. i've been cleaning boy Check out the other side. And yeah, like I said, right in there is usually usually a problem and shit. Yeah, buddy. Down here to water sits. Looking clean. Clean, clean, clean. I don't know what's underneath there, but it feels solid. It's like the other other corner. A little surface rust right there. I mean, shit, for the most part. She looking good. Yeah. So now all this shit is, is glued on. So, figure out how I'm going to get that shit off. But yeah, man, if it, if it looks real good without it. I might just end up leaving that top off, man. Don't even, don't even stress the extra work of putting it back on. And then just find the trim pieces. Go around the back window. Shit, we be in the game. Hell yeah, YouTube. Tune you back in in a minute. So yeah, man. Right now we trying to get this top up, man. You know. Taking a paint scraper. 